Welcome to a short demo about the University of Virginia's student information system. In this demo, we review wait lists, permission lists, and ad hoc permissions. When a class reaches capacity, an automated wait list may become available. As space opens up in the class, a nightly process attempts to enroll students in the order that they got on the wait list. If you want to get on a wait list, check the wait list if class is full checkbox when you add the class to your enrollment requests. If the class conflicts with one of your current classes or will put you over the maximum credit limit allowed by your school, be sure to identify a drop if enroll class. When you complete the enrollment, you see your position on the wait list. You can also see your waitlist position on your class schedule and track how your position on the list may change. For multi-component classes, such as a lecture with a discussion or lab, you will have a waitlist position for both sections. Because a seat must open up in both sections for you to be enrolled, your waitlist position for the discussion or lab is a better indicator of your chances of being enrolled. If the waitlist process is able to add you to the class, you will be sent a confirmation email. The most important thing to know about the waitlist is that if the new class causes a time or credit limit conflict, the SIS will bypass you and go to the next person on the list so it is imperative that you identify a class to be dropped if your waitlist request is successful to avoid any such conflicts. If you believe you have been bypassed by the waitlist process, review your schedule for any potential conflicts, and if necessary, use the edit function to add or change your drop if enroll class. If the class requires instructor consent to add, the permission list functionality allows you to leave a request for the instructor. The instructor is then able to grant or deny your request, which generates an automatic email informing you of your instructor's decision. You will be prompted to leave a permission request when you add an instructor consent class to your enrollment requests. If your search for a class displays that instructor consent is required when you select the class, you will be taken to a page where you enter your reasons for wishing to enroll in the class. Click OK to submit your request to the instructor. A pending icon displays on your enrollment requests until the instructor makes a decision. When a decision is made, you'll receive an email informing you of the instructor's decision and a granted or denied icon will appear in your requests. If granted, you may then enroll in the class by processing your enrollment request in the usual manner. Occasionally, faculty may choose to allow you to enroll in a class even if it is full or you do not meet the requisites. If you are granted an ad hoc permission, you will not see the granted icon the way you do for an instructor consent class, but you will receive an email letting you know you can add the class. An ad hoc permission does not enroll you. It merely gives you permission to enroll yourself using the normal enrollment process. If you are already on the waitlist for a class and then receive an ad hoc permission, essentially bypassing the waitlist, you must drop the waitlisted class from your schedule first and then add it again for the permission to take effect. You can find quick and easy guides to waitlist and permission list by clicking SIS Help Tips and Tutorials from the SIS portal.